quick, what's the difference between this and this? Well, this one is 20 pound, text weight, 98 brightness, environmentally safe. <clears throat> Wrong. This one's white, this one's red. Actually, this one is scarlet. Hi, I'm Melissa. And I'm John, and welcome to Paper Truly. Today, it's all about the basics of papers for your invitations. You know, there's a lot more to paper than just color, and your paper choice can make or break your invites. There are a lot of paper options. It can be super overwhelming. And some options will work really well for certain applications and really terrible for other projects. So this is the part of your project where it's really important to work with a professional who knows all the ins and outs of all the things about paper to help you choose the best one for your project. Yeah, you know, we get a lot of questions about paper because it is such a big topic, but the number one question that we get has to do with the weight of the paper. Why some papers are called text weight and why some papers are called cover weight. So miss, what's the difference? Right. Basically text weight means thinner and cover weight means thicker. And those terms actually come from like traditional bookmaking um, where the text, like the words in mm -hmm. a book, um, were put on thinner papers so that the stack of all of them together oh. wasn't so heavy and so bulky and cumbersome right. um, when all put together. And then the cover of the book needs to be durable and mm -hmm. love a heavier stock. So the cover of the book was made of a thicker paper to protect the contents of the book. Cool. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. And the follow-up question we get to that is always, well, why is uh, like an 80 pound text weight paper thinner than an 80 pound cover weight paper? And that actually comes down to how the paper is manufactured. You see, text weight paper is manufactured in a larger sheet size than the cover weight paper is. And so when the way the paper is weighed and the way we get those weights is they take 500 sheets of the paper in its natural sheet size, the size that it is before that it gets cut down into the pieces that we're used to seeing, and they weigh that. So since cover weight is in a smaller sheet size, it actually is then a thicker paper. It's one of those things that's simple, but not simple. And there's a lot of stuff about paper that's simple, but not simple. So <laughs> with that in mind then, Let's look at some examples of different weights and some of the things we can do with them. Let's start with this. <laughs> this is a 20 pound text weight paper, um, which is usually we use this for mock-ups and mm -hmm. just kind of getting our ideas out there. It's not a good paper to use for um, finished product generally. Um, but basically think 20 pound text weight equals standard all-purpose copy paper. And this kind of paper is best for crumpling up and tossing into the recycle bin. <laughs> well, yes. someone's still holding a grudge from the intro. <laughs> anyway, so then we'll move on to this one we've used for this play money. We've used 70 pound text weight. You wouldn't want this in cardstock because then it wouldn't feel like the paper from the game. So the whole point here is to get it to feel right when you're holding it. And uh, that's really important. Mm -hmm. So then here we have for the interior pages of this book, we have 80 pound text weight <clears throat> so that we have still kind of a, a flimsy feel to the pages so it feels like a book, um, but it's a little bit sturdier so that kind of, you know, flipping through the pages, it, it right. can stand like the flipping through. Right. Okay. Well, let's look at some cover weights and see how they're used. So here we have a hundred pound cover weight on this invitation card. A hundred and a hundred and ten are really popular for wedding invitations, the five by seven, you know, kind of standard mm -hmm. card size. Um, here we have a hundred and five pound cover. Um, and here we have a 65 pound cover. Now, when you think of cover weight or cardstock, a lot of times you'll think of the heavier options. Um, but cover weight can also come in lighter options like this one, the 65 pound cover. Um, we chose this one for this design because it folds a lot. Mm -hmm. And if we had used a heavier stock, it would not lay as flat. Right. And so that's why we went with the 65 pound weight. And if we had gone with the text weight, it would just feel too flimsy and yeah. not like like it's enough there while you're flipping around with it. Right. Okay, so let's talk for a minute then about thicker papers even than, than these, like letterpress papers. Letterpress papers are definitely higher quality. They usually have a much higher um, cotton, cotton content. Mm -hmm. um, so that's just like the fibers of the cottons um, work better with the pressing effect. The oh, same is kind yeah. of true, I guess, with um, foil stamping, but especially right. with letter pressing, because you can see that, that um, pressed in look. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> so this one 
Now, there are some letterpress papers that come in lighter weights, mm -hmm. um, 118 pound, actually small, like they have 90 pound um, through like 118 pound. But the thinner ones, you can run through a digital printer. Mm -hmm. So you can still get the higher end look of the kind of fibrous papers with yeah. a digital job. You don't have to do use it with only letter pressing. Um, however, the heavier weights like the 118 pound and 220 pound are really popular for the letter press weight. Mm -hmm. um, those cannot run through a digital press. They're just they're just too thick. And you can see how thick this one is 220 here versus the 100 pound on the other invitation card. Mm -hmm. And you can just like you can kind of hear <laughs> you can hear the difference. <laughs> Musical paper. <laughs> Musical paper. Um, so yeah, it has to be thick to get get that impression. Cool. So weight is important. But texture affects how the paper feels as well. Mm -hmm. And also texture combines with color to affect how the paper looks. So let's talk about texture and color, starting with textures. <laughs> There's a long list of textures, so I'm just going to list it off. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. So we have eggshell texture, a smooth matte, smooth glossy, super glossy, wood grain, leaf vein, metallic pearlescent, metallic mirror, linen textures, papers combined with plastics called plike, plastic-like. That's fun. Vellums, parchments, tissues, deckled edge, fiberflect, and cotton papers, to name a few. Just a few. Just a few. <laughs> okay, what about colors? Colors, there's also a huge variety of. Now, not all the textures that I listed will come in a huge variety of colors. Some of them only come in whites, but mm -hmm. of course you can print on those to get you know different color effects with those textures. Um, but basically I'm gonna do a super quick flyby of my personal swatch library to show you all of these colors. Are you ready? No. Prepare your muscles. <laughs> We've got... The cherry on top. <laughs> Can you see? No. <laughs> That's a lot of colors. It is a lot of colors. So with all these options, how in the world do you even pick the right paper? Well, you need to look at your suite as a whole, and you need to choose the papers based on what looks good, but also what functions really well. Mm. And while you're choosing, you need to consider that paper companies only manufacture certain weights, textures, and colors. They only do certain combinations of mm. those. So not all combinations and all weights and all colors are always available. They're usually available by popular demand. Right. So you need to make sure you check that. So with that in mind, what are three things to consider when picking your paper? Okay. So the top three things to consider are image, uh, durability, and functionality. Hmm. So with image, if you're printing a photo or like a really large fill of just color, mm -hmm. ink, um, you need to select like a smooth option. Um, because if you select a textured option, there's actually like little nooks and crannies mm, of the paper itself yeah. that the ink will get down into. It's kind of like on a microscopic, not really microscopic, minuscule level. Um, but you'll notice it mm -hmm. for the finish, finished product. Like in your photography, it'll be kind of cloudy looking and mm. it won't be smooth. So you want a crisp image and smooth papers will do that best for you. Whereas letterpress, we already talked about the, the texture and the cotton there is actually desirable right. for that technique. Okay. Right. Uh, durability. Okay, so for durability, it's really just considering the weight of the right weight of the right mm -hmm. paper that you want to use for um, your pieces. So, for example, if you're doing a postcard reply, RSVP card, um, you need to use a heavier paper. You can go really heavy or you can right. go standard cover weight, but you cannot use text weight paper for that because it'll just get shredded in the mail. It right. needs to be able to withstand the mailing or you'll never get it back. Right. <laughs> It needs to be sturdy and dur durable. So functionality. Okay, so functionality is just picking the right um, papers that will move and function in the right ways that you need them to. Mm. So like some fa some thicker papers won't fold at all, like you can't score them at all. So you wouldn't want to use that if you have a piece that folds. Um, other options will fold, but they may not lay very flat because they're too thick. So you would mm. need to choose like a thinner option. Yeah. Um, so you just need to select the right features of the paper's abilities that work best with your project. Wow. So image, <laughs> durability, functionality, and considering the weight, the texture, and the color, there is a lot going on with paper and we've only begun to uh, cover it. <laughs> See what I did there. But... <sighs> Fine. But that's why we recommend partnering with a professional because they've got the experience, they've got the know-how to make that right choice so that your invitations papers make the right 
first impression. Hey, thanks for watching. Click that subscribe button to get our videos in your feed every two weeks. You can leave us a question or a comment below. We love helping people create their perfect invitations. You can find us on social media at PaperTruly on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. And you can find our shop at papertruly.com.